Here are the best things to do in Napier, New Zealand. Number 9. Do an Art Deco Tour Are you ready to step back in time and immerse yourself in the glitz and glamour of the 1920s and 30s? Look no further than Napier, the self-proclaimed Art Deco capital of the world. With several tour operators offering guided tours through the city's stunning Art Deco architecture, you'll be able to discover Napier's history and local stories in a fun and easy-to-digest way. Keep an eye out for the Art Deco Masonic Hotel, Daily Telegraph Building, and National Tobacco Company Building, all of which showcase the style particularly well. But the fun doesn't stop there. Every February, Napier comes alive during the Art Deco Festival, a five-day extravaganza of vintage car displays, music concerts, fashion shows, and of course, the opportunity to dress up in clothes from that era. With over 250 events, it's the perfect way to experience the unique blend of Art Deco and Maori design that Napier has to offer. Number 8. Check out the views from Bluff Hill if you're looking for the best views of Napier, then look no further than Bluff Hill, just a short hike or a drive north of the city center. This winding trail takes you to the top of a lookout point that was once manned by an Army Coastal Regiment during World War II. Today, the lookout provides panoramic views that extend as far as the Mahia Peninsula in the northeast and on a clear day all the way to Cape Kidnappers in the southeast. Take a seat on one of the benches and enjoy the beautiful Pacific Ocean stretching endlessly towards the horizon before you. Number 7. Get Spooked at Napier Prison Get ready for a one-of-a-kind, spine-tingling experience in Napier with a visit to Napier Prison. This eerie old building has a past that'll give you chills. It's been a prison, an orphanage, and a psychiatric unit, and there's even talk of it being haunted. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom, you'll have a blast. With self-guided tours, you get a chance to explore the prison and learn about the stories of famous New Zealand inmates. And if you're feeling brave, dress up in prison gear for a hilarious photo op. For those who are extra curious about the prison's spooky past, join one of the specialized ghost walks that take place in the evenings. And if you're feeling really adventurous, try your hand at the prison's escape room experience. Number 6. Stroll Along Marine Parade Marine Parade, located in Napier, is an iconic seafront with stunning views of the Pacific Ocean, where you can catch sight of tourists and locals taking a stroll. As you stroll along Marine Parade, you'll find a plethora of attractions to keep you entertained. Take a dip in the ocean, snap a photo of Napier's most famous statue, Pania on the Reef, grab an ice cream, and challenge your friends to a round of mini golf at the Seaside Mini Golf Course. You can also see water fountains, garden displays, statues, playgrounds and skate parks, and more all dotted along Marine Parade and its walkway. But Marine Parade isn't just a pretty face, it also offers a glimpse into the city's history with the National Aquarium of New Zealand, Sunken Gardens, and the MTG Museum Theatre Gallery. Number 5. Culture Yourself at MTG Hawks Bay for a cultural extravaganza in Napier, look no further than MTG Hawks Bay. The museum, art gallery, and theater all rolled into one that serves as the cultural hub of the city. With a permanent collection that includes a gallery devoted to the famous Napier earthquake of 1931, history buffs will have a field day learning about the devastating effect on the area and the mammoth rebuilding project that followed. But the fun doesn't stop there. MTG Hawks Bay also offers pop-up art installations, film screenings, and live performances, as well as an extensive collection of Maori artifacts that will leave you mesmerized. The MTG Hawks Bay Theater also hosts a program of films and performing arts in three impressive buildings, one of which is an Art Deco masterpiece, the other a modernist pride, and a gallery filled with lights looking out across the beautiful bay. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 4. See Gannets at Cape Kidnappers Cape Kidnappers, located just south of Napier, is a must-see destination for nature lovers and bird watchers alike. This craggy peninsula is home to the world's largest gannet colony, and let me tell you, these birds know how to put on a show. 
with windswept cliffs that would make even the most fearless climber nervous and stretches of a beach so narrow they're almost non-existent. Cape Kidnappers is a feast for the eyes. Not to mention, it's got a pretty interesting story too. It was named by Captain Cook after a group of local Maori kidnapped his Tahitian cabin boy. But don't let that detour you. The gannets are way more friendly. You could take a tour by tractor, hike along the beach, or even climb up the side of the cliff for an up-close look at these feathered friends. Number 3. Climb Te Mata Peak Te Mata Peak is a must-visit destination for anyone in Napier, New Zealand. This towering peak rises 1,100 feet above the surrounding countryside, offering panoramic views of the entire Hawke's Bay region. It's not just the views that make Te Mata Peak special, it's also steeped in Maori folklore. The legend of Chief Te Mata Orango Kako, who tried to eat his way through the cliffs to win the hand of his lover, adds an extra layer of intrigue to this already captivating destination. The park area covers 99 hectares of native forest, gum trees, eucalyptus, and redwood forest, making it a haven for hikers, mountain bikers, and nature enthusiasts. If you're not feeling up for the hike, you can also reach the summit by car, or for the truly adventurous, by hang gliding. Number 2. Check out the National Aquarium of New Zealand Get ready for an underwater adventure at the National Aquarium in Napier. Located on Marine Parade, this aquarium boasts a wide variety of aquatic and semi-aquatic species from around the world, from seahorses and penguins to kiwi to atara, piranhas and sharks, there is something for everyone to enjoy. One of the highlights is the 1.5 million liter Oceanarium Tunnel that allows you to get up close and personal with the sea life swimming overhead. You can also spot New Zealand's native wildlife like tuatara, kiwi and eels. And let's not forget the famous little penguins from Penguin Cove, each of whom have been rescued and given a new home in the aquarium. It's a fun, educational, and entertaining experience for all ages. Number 1. Visit Otatara Pa Step back in time and immerse yourself in New Zealand's rich history and culture with a visit to Otatara Pa, one of the best remaining Maori fortified village sites in the country. This 40-hectare reserve offers a 45-minute one-way walk around the reserve, allowing you to see archaeological features and soak in commanding views of the surrounding region, including Napier, Cape Kidnappers, and, on a clear day, even Mount Ruapehu. Once home to Chief Tura Ufa, who dominated the region, the site has been carefully preserved, and many of the foundations of terraced dwelling sites and food pits can still be seen. It's a must-see destination for history buffs and anyone interested in the Maori culture. Click here for more things to do in New Zealand.